Hey guys, uh, today I want to go ahead and talk about multi-step linear equations and how to solve these. And we're going to go ahead and use PEMDAS. You notice that in maybe 6th grade you use the order of operations. Now to solve equations, we're essentially doing the same thing, but now in the reverse order. Now we're going to undo addition subtraction first. And then we're going to undo multiplication division. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example. Um, now you notice here, the first thing I want to do, you notice there's a 3 next to the parentheses. So the first thing you want to do is distribute just so that we don't have to worry about that. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times negative 6, remember you have to use that sign in front. That's a negative 18. Okay, so everything is uh, distributed. Now I can go ahead and solve it. Now remember, we want to undo addition subtraction first. So this is a minus 18, so I'm going to do the opposite. That means positive 18. Okay. This simplifies, this becomes a 0. So we're left with 9x is equal to 36. Now to undo multiplication, we have to do division. And you notice x is equal to 4. Okay. Now what I tell my students is always take this, plug it back in there, and just quickly verify if it gives you 18. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. 6 times 3, is that 18? Yes, it is. So it checks off. Okay. So let's go ahead and do another one. Now I decided to make these a little bit challenging um, just because I think you guys can do it. And you notice here, okay, let me see what I have. Anytime I have parentheses and number next to it, I know it's multiplication. So re in reality, you want to distribute that first just so that you can combine like terms. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times a positive 4 is positive 20m. Now, that's where it ends, okay? That's where the distribution ends because you see that it's closed off there. Now, we just have the minus 2m, okay? Now, I always want to make it easy for myself, so I want to say, okay, can I combine anything? And you notice we're going to go ahead and combine these two here. That is the positive 20 and the minus 2. So, we're going to have negative 13. 20 minus 2 is 18. Okay. Now remember, undo addition before and then undo the multiplication. Uh, all right. So we're going to undo addition subtraction. We have a positive 5. To undo that, we're going to do a minus on both sides. This becomes a 0. So we're left with 18m. Negative 13 minus 5 is negative 18. Now, to undo multiplication, we divide, okay? And we get 18 divided by 18 is 1. We can just put m, and that's a negative. Okay, guys? Now, we're going to go ahead and do one more. We're going to go ahead and do the last one, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the easy way to do this, but I want you to take a look at this. Now, you notice this. This is your division bar. Oh, that means this whole thing here is a division problem. Okay? It is an equation, but this is division, the whole thing. You have something on the top divided by the 4. The whole thing. Okay? So what I have to do is I have to undo this division. So how do you do undo division? You multiply. Here we multiply by 4 on both sides. Okay? 4, and actually you're doing the reciprocal 4 over 1. So this simplifies, becomes a, a 1. So we're left with 3x minus 6. Negative 8 times 4 is negative 32. Now, I always tell my students, you know what, work smarter, not harder. And if you notice, any time you have a fraction, all you do is just cross multiply. That's all you do. This is the long way, and I do it because you're used to it, and your teachers teach you that way, and it's correct. But after a while, you know, just cross multiply, boom, boom, negative 32. Now that I have this, 
Now I do the same thing. I have to undo addition subtraction first. So this becomes plus 6, plus 6 on both sides. 3x is equal to negative 32 plus 6 is negative. What would that be? 26. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and divide. Because this is multiplication. Undo it, you, you divide. Okay. Now, 26 uh, divided by 3, that's, that is not going to give me a, a whole number. It's okay. Uh, 3 goes into 26, what is that, 7 times. And we're going to have 21. Actually, no, I'm sorry. There's going to be 8. And we're going to have 2 left over. And the denominator stays the same. Okay, now I want to show you something because it's very important and students sometimes get this mixed up. I'm going to write use the same numbers, but I'm going to do this. Okay, let me write that a little bit better. Minus 6 equals negative 8. Now you notice this is a little bit different. You notice the 3x is divided by the 4. And then you have this minus 6, which is separate. Okay, not like this previous one here, where the whole uh, expression 3x minus 6 is divided by 4. Okay, so now this we have, this is actually uh, an addition, subtraction problem. Okay, so before we, we take care of the division, I have to take care of this guy here first. Okay, because this is separate from the 3x over 4. So here I'll do plus 6. And I will be left with 3x divided by 4. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. Now remember, use your shortcut. Now this is division. Okay, or a fraction if you want to call it that. To get rid of a fraction, let's cross multiply. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And we're left with 3x. Okay, now to undo division, uh, multiplication, divide, and you're done. Negative 8 over 3. And I'm just going to leave it as an improper fraction. Alright guys, so hopefully that helps. Shoot me an email if you have any questions.